and he called crying mom mom i said yes he said four guys from grade five beat me up and they took away my lunch money and i have nothing to eat i said to him who did you spoke to he said he spoke to teacher noella i said what did she say he said he has to hold on because the bell ring now and gotta go back to class i said no that's not right i'm coming anyway i asked carl to take me take me to the school when i went to the school i saw my son standing in the schoolyard crying i said to zadi come here what happened he said the guy's beat him took away his money and nobody's attending to him i said let's go to the class i went to the grade five classroom i saw the students sitting i said teacher one of the students stand up and said teacher is not here i said where she is he said she's next door my son then said to me mom look the guys there that beat me i said okay let's go to the next class when i went over by the class to miss Azel, she said to me no mommy you cannot come in here it's exam time you would have to go to the principal's office upon going to the principal office he, i didn't even enter the office as yet he met me at the door and he was like mommy mommy no come in yeah you don't go to the classroom already so no come in yeah me said no but you can't do that i didn't do anything i went around there and the teacher sent me around here he said no come out of the school yeah they're gonna call the police i said okay call the police because that would be good he called them upon 15 minutes waiting nobody came i went on my phone and i called 911 when i called i i can't even remember who i spoke with and who i spoke to a lady she said to me where are you i said i'm at the t and colonel school and there's an incident here with my son and nobody's attending to me she said leave the school compound and go to the st john police station I went to the St. John police station, I get the officers, they come back with me to the school. When we enter the schoolyard, from the time Mr. Denmore Roberts saw us, he opened the door and he came out and he said, y'all don't come in here, I'm gonna wash she in here. The officer Byers, yes, officer Byers Walker said to him like this, no, she come and make a report and we come to see what's the problem. He said, no, we all are friends. So they forget out here. Upon that, the police still proceed. They enter the office. They lock the door. I was outside. I can't tell you what they spoke about. Anyways, they opened the door. They came outside back and they said, well, you have to go to the ministry because he's been disrespectful. When he heard the officer said that, he turned to me and said, that, get that girl out here. She's a fool, a little bitch. I said, like your mother and fool like your mother in front the police everybody because you are not gonna insult me in front my kid other teachers other students and the officers and expect me to take that the police then took me to the ministry of education when i went there i saw mr emit michael's secretary she told me i would have to come back tomorrow which was the fifth i went for the appointment at eight o'clock I see Mr. Emmett Michael. I explain the situation to him. I let him know that the principal said my son cannot come back to the school without I go to the ministry and I'm here to talk about it. He said to me, Mom, go home, write a letter, and I will go to the school and find out what happened. I said, no, sir, I don't like that at all. It is now exam time, and you mean to tell me you're going to sit here and watch them put my son out of school? My son get beat, my son get bruised, and nobody, no parents, nobody, he said to me, he cannot do anything right now. I will have to win. I'm not pleased about the situation. Nobody has come to me, no parents, no student, no teacher, nobody at all. So I want to take it a little further because I find this disrespectful. Had you tried to speak to the director? Who is the director? Claire Brown. No, Mr. Emmett Michael, <coughs> tell me I would not be able to speak to Mr. Claire Brown without his permission. So, you don't know if the director heard about I the story? I don't know at all. I don't know. How long ago did this incident happen? From December the 4th. Has your child been in school since? No, sir.
um, what is the official position from the school regarding your child? Nobody has reached out to me. I don't know anything at all. So what has your child been doing in between that time, the fourth up until now? Because I think, well, school is out. Yes. Um, so he wasn't able to take exams or anything like no, that? No, he only missed two. He missed two? Yes. So you didn't get a report? No, nothing at all. Nothing, nothing concerning? Nothing, nothing. All right, um, what's your next step? Well, tomorrow, I'm going back up by the ministry. I'm bringing the letters. as you see, I have them here. I'm bringing my letter, and I'm going to find out what is going to be happening about my son. When you told the police the story, what did they say to you? They said, go to the ministry and push it because they are not supposed to put my kid out of school. Did the, poli the police said they couldn't do anything concerning? Yes, they said the ministry would have to deal with it. All right, because it involves children, I think. Yes. Okay, all right. Um, did uh, they tell you what the conversation between themselves and uh, the principal was? Okay, Mrs. Bias Walker told me that when she entered the office when the door closed and I couldn't hear her, she said she was telling him what I came down there and said. And he said to them, he called headquarters and nobody came, so he didn't want to hear anything from them. From the police? Yes. Okay, all right. And they didn't insist no. that he, that they put him, that he put the your child back in close school yes until... mrs walker asked him that and mm -hmm. he said no not without a letter from the ministry why was had you had previous run-ins with the principal why never, is he never, so never. why was he so antagonistic towards i don't know i really don't know so it's the first time the that first you